was honestly a great experience. Me not ever being to Chicago, it was a really, really awesome time and a, it's kind of cool to get around to different vibes and go see different places and being able to do it for, um, for business as well is also like something that I guess I've never really experienced before. I mean, going to different events and playing like, like Ninja Vegas or the Pro-Am is a little bit different because I'm going there and I'm playing Fortnite. But this time I wasn't even playing Fortnite, I was just kind of doing a meet and greet. But initially when we got there, like the first thing was like, God, like the humidity. Hopping like straight off the plane, you just feel all this humidity. And like throughout the entire time, Lino was complaining about how humid it was. And I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, so straight off the plane, we hopped on a, um, on like a train system that takes you straight to downtown. And so I think that was like a 40 minute ride. And it was a really cool experience simply because I've never been on, it wasn't like a train, it was a, it was like a subway, but a, a subway that's above ground. So I thought that was pretty cool because I've been in New York like as like a kid throughout like my younger years and I've been on the subway like multiple times. So I was just interested kind of seeing a subway that's not elevated underground. I thought it was a pretty cool time being able to like look out the window and stuff, but still being like in a subway-esque vehicle. But then we finally got downtown and like the only thoughts that were on my mind were like, holy shit, the, the, um, the architecture is like so insanely amazing. Uh, all of Chicago is just like tall, tall buildings that just like shoot up to the sky that are just like beautifully designed. And it was something that I thought was, was really, really cool to see before we actually, you know, go to do the meet and greet. And then we decided to do our IRL stream. Yeah. So we IRL streamed in Chicago with no delay on stream. So a ton of people actually stream sniped us. And I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty funny. Nothing bad like happened. No one was like being like really like sketchy or weird about it. But simply like people were just wanting to say hi and, and stuff. So they would find come up to me and find me. So I was, I was really, really chill with that. Happy that nobody was, you know, was a creep about it. I'm glad that my community is like, you know, or my community that's in Chicago is like A1. Shout out to the Chicago community. Um, but throughout the, that, so that was my first time doing an IRL stream that was, I guess, portable or like, that was my first IRL stream, like legitimate walking around outside IRL stream in general. So it was kind of awkward and I voiced it on the IRL stream a bit. It, it's weird making content that's not like here, that's not like at my desk or at home. It takes you out of the box and it pushes you to like, think about new and different ways to, to entertain or, or just constantly talk because I mean, when I'm playing a game, it's easy, but I'm kind of somebody that doesn't think their life is too interesting, oddly. I know that sounds probably really weird to say, but so when I'm just like kind of walking around and talking, I'm like, damn, am I relatable right now? Do people feel what I'm feeling? Maybe not, uh, I don't know. But overall, it seemed like chat is the, always a way to just keep me, you know, happy and laughing with everything. So we ended up like sitting down in a mall for like an hour shit talking day and other teams in the Fortnite scene, which was pretty good. It's nice stuff. But after that, actually right after that, we had to go head over, I think it was like a five or 10 minute walk to the the champ store that we held this this meet and greet at. And we get to the we get to this champ store and we walk in and first level was kind of like empty and then there was like a little bit of a line and then you walk up and there's like people lined up around like the the walls of the second floor. And then we go up again and there's more people like lined up around the walls and I thought that was awesome and people were like chanting my name and stuff and I was like thank you, I love you. Why being my fictional tears away. But then the me and Greek took place and it was really, really awesome. There was not, I don't think there was a single interaction that kind of went poorly or wasn't genuine. I enjoyed every single person that, that came out. There was a family, I think about the, the last people that were in there actually was this family from, God, I forgot where they were from. I want to say like, 10